Jaeger and this is for the distributed tracing tools so we will be discussing what is the distributed tracings and why it is very much important now particular in the area of the microservices where you have the thousand of thousand services running for your organization right then i will explain what is the uh, Jaeger and what is the basic understanding for the Jaegers and we will discuss a little bit about the Jaeger architecture and what are the different modules and some uh, important jargon for the Jaeger terminologies and then we will show the demo from scratch so most of time I spend on the demo but before the demo let me explain what is the Jaeger and how it came what is the distributed tracking system so let us start this video before going too deep inside the distributed tracking system let me first uh, discuss the two important terminology one is the monolithic and second is the microservices so as you know and i have already explained very detail in one of my youtube video whether i have explained what is the monolithic architecture and what is the microservices architecture and what is the pros and cons for the both kind of the architecture so if you see in monolithic all the code base is in in one box means in one jar one snapshot you have all the code base even though you can deploy that code base in the cloud but all the code base intact in the in one box so it's very easy to debug if you get any problems if one module is not talking to another module some issues are there it is easy to find out but if you think about the microservices where you have the thousands of thousand services they are communicating to each other so it is very difficult to find out where your communication is going to break and where actually you have to find out how to troubleshooting all those things it's very difficult to find out right if any developer such as we are the developer we develop the microservices we do not test end to end we just test that our previous or the next microservices connectivity are there or not okay so but as a as a whole owner of the product you have to take care for the each microservices communication how much time they are taking and when you are going to request is happening so if you put the logs in the microservices you can not find out how the communication between happening and where the application is going to get back right so some some distributed system and some common place should be there where all the microservices information should be gathered and on top of that you can stitch all those requests and make more meaningful information right so suppose if i say one request is taking how much time and inside the one request you could have the multiple microservices communication so it is difficult to find out to go inside each individual microservices and find out the latency so that's why it is much required you should have one distributed tracking system so in single dashboard you can find all the information right so in this in this uh, diagram if you see if a big organizations like the uh, amazon or the ubers or any big organizations they have the uh, thousand of thousand microservices and they are talking to each other if you take example of the, any e-commerce when you hit the purchase button or buy buttons so they give, they will go to the payment system they will go the stocking they will go the uh, whether stock is there or not they will check the location so have to get, get the delivery right all those informations it only possible if you hit the many microservices now this is your duty that which microservices how much they are getting the time where it is getting the fear everything you should know that right and one important jargon is there in the microservices that it's it's very easy to fix the bug in the ocean of the microservices but to find out why is the bug which communication is not working this is the big problem right and that uh, uh, that this uh, open source tools yaga uh, will help you out in that contest right so as I explained that what is the distributed tracking so it will make it easy uh, for the complex system if you, your system is too much complex it will help you out and uh, 
Suppose particularly in the case of the microservices architecture, it is very much important you should have this kind of the tools by which you can track, you can monitor, you can profiling, you can check the latency of the each and every request to make your project better and better, right? And uh, as uh, it is saying that track a single request through of its journey. As I said that when you make one request in e-commerce website, buy. On the single request, a lot of things is happen, right? So through the distributed tracking, we can see all those things. As it is mentioned here, it will stitch all your multiple requests across the multiple system and provide you one single dashboard, right? So Yaga is the open source distributed tracking platform. Whether you can monitor the distributed transactions, optimize the performance, and perform the root cause analysis where it is there, but Jaeger will work only if you have already taken care for your instrumentation or instrument of your services. Means in your code base, something should be already there who can instrument your service. Means who can take care for who can track all things happening communications, right? And for that, we will use the open tracking. Or there are any other strikings out there, but this is open source. And on top of that, our Yaga will be work. I will show each and everything in the code, right? <clears throat> uh, little bit time we can spend on the architecture, but let me go. This picture is the good. So when you have the application, this is your code base. So your code base must be instrumentations by some software. On top of that, Yaga would be work, right? So we use the open tracking API okay so but using the open tracking API no need to touch your code base just to be add one dependency and that is sufficient for making your code the instrumented right but how they will communicate to the Jaeger so for that you should have one Jaeger client that Jaeger client can communicate directly to the Jaeger character but Suppose if you have the huge number of the microservices, you don't want each and every request should hit your Jaeger character. So for that, you want to implement some kind of sampling, means out of 100, I want the two requests, or there are the many kind of algorithms, some time-based algorithms. So I don't want to all those requests, but if something, this kind of things is there, then I want to get the request. So those things you can configure. So in that case, it is must you should have the Jaeger agent. But today I'm going to make only small POC. So I will be directly using the Agar client that we hit to the Jaeger characters, right? And then this Jaeger client is, uh, there are many Jaeger clients based upon which language you are using. If you have the Go, Java, Python, Node.js, for each and everything, you have the Jaeger clients. And all those instrumented informations that is called the span or track I will discuss. It will be collected by the Jaeger character. It will be sent to the database. And from database, we have another service, Jaeger query, that we feed those information from database. It will show the into the UI, right? But uh, for the small demo purpose, all those services, what I'm showing here, uh, we have one small, my small services, whether you can uh, just prepare your POC kind of things. But for the production, you should install each and everything individually. Yeah, let us, uh, as I explained, the, what is the client, what is the agent, what is the character, what is the console, queries. Let me explain what is the span and the track. So what happened? If you see this is my microservices, someone hit your microservice A, then A is uh, going to hit the B or E. So each request is called the span. So if this in this diagram, A is hitting the B and the C, so that it will create the one span for the A, one span for the B, one span for the C. For the each span, there we have the one ID, right? And if you can see, uh, the, what is the parent of the span B, A? And the one uh, unique ID for the each span. All together, if you hit all the complete request that has been done for the single purpose of the work, that is called the track. So track is a data or execution path throughout the system that can be as a you can define into a DAG form, 
right i will show in the demo everything don't worry for right wing <laughs> So, and there are the two dominant or the two very famous distributed tracking. One is the Jipkin and one's in the Jagger. So, uh, there's no much difference. Uh, Jagger's has been developed from the Uber, uh, Uber and the Jipkin's has been developed from the Twitter. And these are the language which support for the which language. And uh, both are very active on the community. So uh, we could not find out much difference here, but uh, this is not our topic. We will just move into the uh, demo. So enough talk. Let us dirty your hand with the code, right? So what I will do in this code, you go first this website, Yeager, YeagerTracing.io, and you have to download the Yeager server that I will show you. And then uh, we have the two way to install the Jaeger either through the executable binary files depend upon the operating system you can download or we have the docker image so uh, if you have docker installed in your laptop you can go and install that uh, you can uh, just install the docker image and your work done so i will go through these binary things okay and now uh, if it is done then we have a very good one page getting started from there you can get all the informations in the demo what i will do i will make one two a spring boot project service a service b both would be monitored by the yager and they will also communicate service a to b and also that being monitored by the yager and everything i will show you in dashboard so what i will do first you go where you have uh, if you go here, yagatracking.io, then go to the download page. And here you can either choose the many Docker images out there. Otherwise, if you don't have the Docker, you can go directly install the binary files. So in my case, I have already installed the binary files. So if you see here, so if you go the software, in this software, I have installed the Jaeger and you have to click on the Jaeger all in one. So why I'm doing that all in one, it has all the service or the required service. So you no need to go the individual uh, install each and every service. And this is good for the POC and this is more demo purpose what I'm doing. Now this my service is up and running. So now if you go the, uh, uh, open the browser and it is running the local system. So go and localhost 16686 so if you see here 16686 hit so you will get the one yagal web page or the yagal dashboard if you see uh, there is no any service but first if you just face it you will see one service is running because uh, yagal is uh, monitor monitor his own service also yagal is what you are seeing here now let us create the two uh, Spring Boot service and we will do our demo, right? So for that, I would recommend go to the Spring Initializer. And uh, I have uh, I have already uploaded a number of YouTube videos on the Spring Boot. So everything I have explained there, if you're interested, you can go and watch those uh, series of videos on the Spring Boot. So I will give the num service A. And that's it, Java 8. And you have add one dependency spring wave that's it generated it will download right and we call spring b also so they will communicate to each other right generate so if you go here um in the download you can see this uh that two has been service a ungp it and service b ungp it right so now we have service a service b go to the eclipse Let me open the Eclipse, bigger screen, okay. And now you go and import the project. So import as a Maven project, right, to go to the Maven, because this is Maven 1, existing project, and choose the service name 1. It is on the download project, and service 1 was showing there. Open it, and similar way we will install, we will uh, import the 
service B also. Go right click, import existing Maven project, and then select download and B. So now we have installed the both A and B. So as I says that uh, I, as I uh, having said that you need one agent, right? I was saying here in the diagram, if you go the here diagram, you need one client to communicate the Jaeger. So for that client, you have to add one dependencies. For that, we will go at our pom.xml and we will add one. So go here, go to the project, pom.xml, let the screen a little bit big, you add the dependency. <laughs> So this is the dependency I added here. So this is the open tracking. They will uh, instrument your existing code. Okay. So that is okay. Now what I will do is one thing. Now make one small API. So they will talk to from one service if you want to test. So you just make one small uh, API, REST API, and from there we can test and do that, right? So let us come here. Make one package also with this. So if you know how to make the REST API in the Spring Boot, so I would recommend please visit my YouTube uh, on the Spring Boot series. You will get everything there. And I will give the name uh, Service A Controller. You know you have to add REST Controller to make this class as a API enabled, right? Okay, it will just show this message. That's it. Okay, let us test whether this is working or not. And before that, what I want to say, I want to run this code on the uh, port zero eight port eight zero eight one. So you have to write server dot port is equal to eight zero eight one. That's it. Now come here and run this code. I have not changed this code. Everything this came from Spring Initializer. So now go and run that. If you can see here, it is running right on the 8081. Now you go and hit this API localhost 8081 show, right? It's hit now, right? Hit the two times. Now go to the dashboard. This is Yager dashboard UI. We face this page. Then you will get see the one unknown Spring Boot because I have not given to application my name. And then go unknown and find that is if you can see that three times I hit all the three times information is there. This is one span means I just hit one request. That request is not going to anywhere, just showing the string, right? So if you go here, how much time it will be taking? How much time it took it took so it is you can see this and if you click here it will give the more detail means uh, which url and where it is hit and what are the different process and what is the log all those information you can get it but if you see uh, if you can see that i have not given any name so it is very difficult to find out name we have the multiple uh, microservices so what i will do that to make the name is easy you give one name there so Nothing big, uh, you can go the here and application properties, right? And give the name first microservices. Something now, if you execute it, we show the micro first microservices instead of the unknown one. Okay, let us make the another uh, B service also, then I will show in detail, right? So go to the B microservices and first put the same thing means. Uh, server dot port on 8082 and application name is the second microservices and as we have done the service a make one rest api i'm making one package controller and do the service B controller, right? 
so what i will do in uh, service b i will make one controller they will uh, make the some payment means uh, means this this microservices would be calling by the microservices a so for that first you have to make the rest controller and then make one api i no need to log for time being okay just action so but this method would be calling by the by the microservices one and as we have added in the microservices one one um, as we have added uh, one uh, Yagel client in microservice one, you have to also add into the microservices, microservice B, right? So otherwise it will not track by the Yagel. Okay. Now in microservice B, I call the action. So let us call this microservice B API from the microservice A for the good communication, right? Then in, it is good to show something new in the dashboard so come to the a microservice a controller and here you have to add the you have to make a call to the microservice b so what i will do make one just one new api new rest api who will call the microservice b so for that we need one rest template right so that is part of the micro uh, uh, spring boot so you have to go and watch the video or you might be knowing already so what i did here i make one rest template and with the help of the rest template it will call to the action this is a b service right and see what is happening there and as we have used the rest template so you need to make the bin for this so you have to come on the main class and main class you have to make one bean for the rest template this is part of the spring boots nothing uh related to the yaml so now our spring our my microservices is completed a and b let us make the up and running the both service right so this is the a service let it be the run and this is the b service right let the b service also run now my both services are running A and B. Okay. So now come here. And instead of the show, show view call hit A itself, right? But if you make the local host, I am not going to call the service B. I am going to call the service 1. But from service 1, I am calling to service B. And you can see this, I am getting the request. I hit the 8081. I am hit, I, I, I hit the service A. Internally service A hit to the service B and uh, make this request here, right? So now I click the two times. Now go to the Yagal. We face it. You will get the both service name here. First microservice, second microservice. Now go to the first microservice and hit on the find trace if you see here now it is showing the three span how is the three span means first you hit the uh, first microservice and from the first microservice it is a second microservice that's why complete information is here if you go here it will show how much time taken so first we hit the first microservice then it hit itself so first uh, through the payment because the first uh, if you see here we hit the payment right this is the payment that's why it hit the payment and that hit payment if you go see internally code what happened in here this payment we internally this is the gate method right by default is a gate method so that's why this is the gate method and from there get method if you can see it went to the second service controller right and second service control call the actions right so everything uh, you can see here and how much time it is taking you can go and deep down everything you can see apart from this information we have many other information here also track graph so the, the graph you can see means it called from the first to the first and it go to the second information right similarly if you can see the statics how much time taken by the each microservices or the average everything you can see here spend time in the table format it will give all those informations right 
and if you can see the JSON, it will show the JSONs. Not only this much information, if you go to the home page here, what you can do, if you click here and show the deep dependency graph. It will show the very nice graph means from the microservice first you hit the microservice and there are some others if you show the operation it will show the operation means two operations is hit everything you can see here and not only this much you came come here and if you want to select the two request so suppose I take one this request one this request you can compare what is the difference between these two requests? One is the just straightforward one request, but if you see the second request, it hit the two microservices. So this kind of detailed information you can uh, see here. And also we have the one system architecture, right here if you go, it will show the first microservice how many times it hit the second microservice, right? So do one thing, uh, click three, four times. So it will increase the number, right? Now these two should be increased because we hit the many times and they count every time you can see it is the six right so this is the way uh, uh, you can start your POC on that and uh, um, yeah that is uh, we have the today to discuss with you so